Welcome. Uh, I'm going to try this on one shot. Let's see if I can get it done. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm trying to pull uh, or clone a, a repository, the week one repository. So let me sign in real quick. What I'm going to do is is uh, sign on to GitHub. By the time class starts, I'll have you added, all add as um, contributors to our project so we can share source code online. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about certainly in class, but I'm going to sign on as my user ID. Okay, so say password. Uh, the user ID I use is CISC181. GitHub is a, um, a common source repository, so we can, uh, it, it's great for everything, for Java, for .NET. Um, we'll talk about source repositories in class, so I'm going to get into that, but this I'm using CIS, CISC181. I've got a, a number of projects out here that I, I shared for other classes. Um, right now I have the week one repository. So week one uh, is a repository with a number of packages and classes and I don't have it on my local desktop and I want to import it into my local. So how do I do it? Well, I'm going to go to week one and copy the URL for the project. And I'm going to go back into Eclipse. Well, let me close all the projects that I have out there lose project okay um, I already have week one out there let's see if I can delete this guy let's try this because I want to I want to start from scratch okay week one is deleted so what I'm gonna do is change the the perspective over to the git we already did the assume we already did the installation of git and so forth and so on uh, the, or the git plugin that's already done I want to clone that repository. So one of these buttons is it. I'm adding an existing repository. No. Clone a git repository and add the clone to this view. Let's do that. Clone. That's going to ask me where my URL is. And I think it's smart enough to know whatever I uh, have on my clipboard, it's going to assume that that's my URL. So that's how I got this. But I'm going to paste it in there to just be, uh, to just be sure. The host is GitHub. Repository. I don't have to change anything else. I do have to put my right user and password in. Um, assume that this is going to be your user and password that, that you were assigned. Hit next. And it goes up and finds uh, a, a, a t um, what do you call it, a branch to pull. That's cool. I found it. Now, initial branch master, clone submodules, no, remote name origin, keep that. Import all existing projects after the clone finishes. I want to do that. So make sure that checkbox is there. Hit finish. It's going to do a pull or get. You see it there, week one. Let's go back over to the Java perspective. And I'm not seeing week one. Let's see why I didn't see it. Okay. Pull. Nothing to fetch. Okay. Really? Oh, there it is. Okay, it did pull it in. CISC we, uh, CISC 181 week one. Um. It, now I will tell you this: the, the, this JRE, this isn't part of the project. Certainly, I didn't check in all this stuff into GitHub, but it knows that I'm using Java 1.7. So unless unless you don't have that JRE installed, you may see um, references that don't don't jive. In other words, if if you're using Let's say let's say I had a reference to Java 1.8 and you don't have 1.8 installed, you may have an issue with, with references. We'll we'll talk about how to deal with that later. Uh, so let's look at look look at the source. So far, I have five packages. It looks like they all came through. All the classes came through. And from this point forward, I can just start executing the program. So if I go into package five and execute. This is what it's supposed to do. It doesn't do much, but this is what it's supposed to do. It did work. Pretty cool. So what I did here was went to the repository, grabbed it from the clipboard, went into Eclipse, went into the Git repository, cloned, entered in the URI, entered my user password, imported the project, and it did everything it was supposed to do. Now, here's the other tricky thing. Take a look at let's uh, let's open up the week one repository. 
take a look at remotes origin see that little green and the red the green is I believe the the get let's see let's hover over for a second see what it says I'm, I'm sure this is the get the fetch what has to happen for fetch if I go to configure fetch uh, let's see if I see change this you're, you're tell this is the screen we saw before but you notice the user and passwords there the gets there or the, the get URIs there this has all been configured when you did the get I didn't do the push though yet so if I go into the configure I'd be surprised if this was already configured it, it maybe it maybe not if I say change that no, okay it, it figured it configured it as well so sometimes if you if you configured the get without the push when you when you go to make changes you may have an issue with the change let's see if it let's see if it'll allow me to do a change if I cancel out of this and go back into the Java perspective let's go into one of the modules and I'm just going to add a comment I'm going to add a comment. Let's I'll prove to you that this is not um, it's not already there. So I'll go into week one, go into source, go into 181, go to week one, package five, Java main. That comment isn't there now. Okay. So let's go back over here. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to commit it by going to. Let's see if I go to one of these suckers. Just commit. That's fetch push there we go uh, nope that's not what I wanted is it commit changes added comment in week in package 5 it knows it notices that this is the change it, in other words all the stuff that I pulled down the only thing that changed was this I'm gonna say commit and push so does a commit will do a local commit in other words save my local changes and the push will push it to git Let's see what happens. If I do commit and push, it does it in the background. If it had an error, it would have told me. And now it's saying it, it committed, everything's cool, hit OK. Now let's go over to source, source 181, week one, package five. And the comment is there, test comment. Uh, you know, <laughs> this saves so much time I mean having a, a common source repository that's that's configurable and, and works with just about every language and plugins for every different IDE trust me this is like light years ahead of what used to be um, very cool this so this is how we're gonna do uh, our our source in other words when we do assignments I'm gonna have assignments that are checked in through github and not uh, sent back and forth in email, not sent back and forth in, in Sakai. Everything's going to be done uh, using Git. It's just, trust me, it's so much easier to deal with projects and to deal with assignments. Excellent. So thank you very much. Have a good day.